Hi friends, welcome back to Nessa's Nook. Today I'm going to go ahead and take some of my baby carrots and I'm going to go ahead and shred some. Um, I notice there's some times that I want shredded carrots, not the diced carrots that I already have freeze dried. So I bring you over here and show you what I'm going to do. And I got the freeze dryer getting started. Now my KitchenAid is one of those that you put in the little whirly twirly thing. And there's two different sides. There's the small and there's the big. This one's the small side, this one's the big. I'm gonna opt for the big, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in. Go ahead and put on the lid. Now, I don't know for sure if you guys have one of these or not, but most of those come with that little safety thing. If, if I tried to turn this on right now, it wouldn't go because this is not in here saying it's safe. So as soon as I put that in, then, then I can automatically just go ahead and, and shred or slice or whatever there is to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to be pouring in some. It's going to go ahead and collect. It's going to get a little bit noisy, but I'll be right here. I will go ahead and put that amount on a tray because I have noticed when I actually do not stuff the trays really full that everything seems to dry a lot faster. My little worm thing will come out so I'm just going to go ahead and dump this on the tray and Spread that out a little bit, and then go ahead and put everything back together. Put a little whirly gig in there. Put the big side on. Put the lid on. Grab my carrots back. to really slice these up or shred these up. Take this back apart. Now there's usually some carrots that's gonna be like this. And what I'm gonna just do is I'm gonna put those aside. I'll just eat those. And then grab those bigger pieces off. Put that in the sink. Do the same with, with these bigger pieces. I'll just be pushing these off to the side. Be careful because these things are very sharp. Take the whirly gig off there. Make sure I have about the same. There's a little bit more in this container than there is in that other one. So I'll be putting the extras actually on this tray. I'm going to spread these out real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, well, anyway, so I had to thaw these out. I thought I had bought the peppers and onions 
mix, but I actually bought a stir fry mix from the dollar store. Now you actually have to thaw those out um, because you cannot mix frozen and non-frozen together. So I'm going to put one bag each. Well, that's not much of a stir fry mix. That's really not much of a stir fry mix at all. Um, that's just a lot of carrots. <laughs> um, so trying to do this is, uh, you know, so things are not touching and stuff, so it's on there. And I'm going to go ahead and open up all three bags, and I'll be right back. Okay, for these supposedly having peppers, I mean, there is peppers in this bag, but wow. I'm not for sure I will buy this again. Like I said, I bought it on accident to begin with. Um, but I don't think I'll buy more once these are done. But I have all five trays now ready to go. And as soon as the 15 minutes are over, then these will go ahead and go in the freeze dryer. Um, this will take a little bit of time, obviously. Um, you're not going to see this today because it's going to take at least 24 hours for this to dry. And I'll bring you back once everything's dried and show you what things are looking like. And hi friends, I am back. Um, this did not take hardly no time at all. It is actually almost like four o'clock. I'm on my last break at work. And um, yeah, this dried, I mean, it's, it was ready a long time ago, but because I'm working and my breaks didn't line up, that I left it in there. Like I said, you can't, you can't over dry anything. It just takes longer and more energy and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so I'll bring it down here. And as you can see, the carrots are really nice and fine. I really like that. I think that's going to go good in some of the recipes that I wanted this, the, the carrots in. So I'm going to go ahead and dump this in a half gallon jar. Like I said, I got two trays of them. I think the half gallon jar should hold all of it. Yeah, I think this is going to work very nicely for the things I want. Things I want uh, <clears throat> shredded carrots in, that's for sure. I mean, because I have a lot of diced carrots in both the um, dehydrated and freeze dried. But there's times that a shredded carrot is just nice to have. And then what's going to happen is I will go ahead and put this, and yes, my counter is clean. Um, I will put this with an oxygen absorber, and I'm just going to go ahead and put the lids on these for right now until I get done here. And uh, put the oxygen absorbers in there and do the uh, food saver. And this is that finished product of the um, stir fry. I'm not, like I said, I'm not very impressed with that stir fry at all. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'll, re I'll reuse this in some shape or form. There's definitely not the things that I would want in a stir fry in this um, container. I'm glad I didn't buy more of them than I actually did. Because like I said, I thought I was buying the peppers, onions mix. But obviously I was not. But, you know, you live and you learn, right? You just, there's things that you do that, it's like, what was I thinking? And <laughs> other times things end up being a great mistake and it works out just fine. So maybe this will too, I don't know. Um, but like I said, I have no idea what I'm going to be using this for. So my question would be today, um, what would you use the stir fry for that's not actually stir fry? Because for what it serves, I would not want all those really big carrots in my stir fry. I mean, I could see the shredded carrots. So what would you, what meal or what would you make with the stir fry? I might have to probably just do it this way because it's getting too full. I mean, obviously I have more vegetables I can add to this. So, I mean, it's not even a, an object of 
you know, it doesn't have all the right stuff because I can add whatever I want. But I mean, can you guys think of anything that would work super well for this? And if you do, definitely put that down in the comment section because I am very curious of what someone would come up with for me to use this so it doesn't go to waste. Waste of buying it and the waste of freezer space. The waste of freeze dryer space, you know. So this is, that's the stir fry mix. And that's the shredded carrots. So I think that's going to both turn out pretty well um, once I do find out a meal to actually use that stir fry mix on. So um, definitely, you know, I mean, I've never, I've never uh, dehydrated the shredded carrots. But I believe you would have to um, uh, parboil them for a little bit before you put them in the, the thing or um, have them from where they're frozen or something to that effect. But I think the shredded carrots are going to come out really handy on a lot of meals. I'm very excited to use those. But like I said, please below if you could think of something to use this in. Or is this should be something that could just should be grinded up and used as a vegetable powder, I could do that. Um, let me know. I mean, I mean that would be good probably for a good vegetable thickening powder. Um, like I said, help me out with this one, guys. So thank you very much for stopping by. Um, thanks for going on my freeze dryer um, uh, runs with me and uh, seeing if there's anything that you personally like. And remember... Harvest Right is always giving away a freeze dryer. They always have a contest going. If you go on to Retired at 40, he has a thing where once you guys are actually um, uh, enrolled in his stuff, even if you don't have a freeze dryer, he gives away a freeze dryer at least once a year. Then, remember next month, I'm in that collab where Harvest Right is, is donating a medium-sized freeze dryer. So... There are ways that you can actually get a freeze dryer without the expense of a freeze dryer. Um, you'd be surprised. I mean, sometimes they're being sold still really expensive. But, you know, there could be someone who just no longer just, just doesn't want to do it. And you can get a really killer deal. Or sometimes even free, you know. Um, I know Carolina, she got hers from her aunt for free. She just has to go pick it up. I'm like, what a deal because that's going to save a lot of money. And then they also do have where you can do... A, um, like a layaway where you put so much money down and then you don't get your freeze dryer till so much money is paid off or I don't know how it goes but you can look into that if that's an option for you and they also sell them like at Tractor Supply I know they sell them at Home Depot so if you are looking for them and I'm not saying use your credit card because I'm not saying to go use your credit card but if you actually do have a credit card for that and you could pay it off very quickly and they do have maybe a good deal or something then maybe what you can do is also go to Home Depot or like uh, Tractor Supply or something like that they usually have the mediums in stock they don't have the larges because a lot of people don't realize with the large you actually need special um, dedicated plugs where the mediums you don't so a lot of people opt for the medium versus the large thankfully Mark um, he knows how to do electricity and he was able to give me a dedicated line Otherwise, you know, I would have had to probably pay two to five, eight hundred dollars or whatever to have an a, 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 um, electrician come in my house. So it works out very well. Um, so definitely check out those other options if it's something that you don't have it in your budget, but you might want to try to get one for free. Definitely, you know, look around. I mean, you know, the always the answer is no if you don't ask. So thank you very much for stopping by. You have a very blessed and wonderful day. And then put definitely down in the comments what you think I should do with that. So. We'll see you later. Bye.